Okay, sixth grade today, your assignment is to do division by primes. And remember that you have to do it this way um, today only. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it again. You just need to learn how. Um, what you're going to do is when you start with a number, in order to find the prime factorization of it, you're going to divide by a prime number. So if you think about prime numbers, you need to think about um, numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. You can use your, your uh, factors list and look at the ones that have a P in the prime or composite column, and those are the numbers you're going to be dividing by. They're usually the smallest numbers, so they should be pretty easy to figure out. Um, if you have an even number, then obviously 2 goes into it. So looking at 40, I know that 2 goes into 40, and so I'm going to divide that. 2 goes into 40, and I know that that's 20 times, so I put 20 on top. And since 20 not, is not prime, I'm going to do another division box on top of it, and we're going to make some layers. So I think about what goes into 20, and again, I know that 2 goes into it because it's even, and 2 goes into 20 10 times. And here you can divide by two different numbers because 10 isn't prime, so we need to do another division box. And I know 5 goes into 10, so I'm going to divide by 5. 5 is prime, so it can go on the outside. And 5 goes into 10 two times. So your prime factorization are the numbers that are out here. Since 2 is prime, um, that's the, when we divide the 5 into 10 and got 2. Since the top number is now a prime number, you're done. So you would then write 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Go ahead and put them in order from least to greatest, and that way it's easier. Here's another example, 160. This is a pretty big one, so I bet it'll be kind of long. But again, I know it's even because it ends in 0, so I'm going to go ahead and divide by 2. And 2 goes into 160 80 times. So then we divide 80 because it's not prime, and I'll divide it by 2. And 2 goes into 80 40 times which is what we started with over here, but I'm going to go ahead and do something different. I know 5 goes into 40, and 5's prime, so I can put 5 on the outside and I get 8. And then the only prime number that goes into 8 is 2, and then I put a 4 on top. That's still not prime, so I'm going to divide it, and its prime number that goes into it is 2, and then I have a 2 on top, and then that would be the end. So then I would write out the prime factorization of this, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's, so I'm going to write that. 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the 5. All right, and then the 5 at the end. I'm not sure where I stopped, but anyway, so there it is. Um, I'm going to do one more example. Let me see if I can make one up real quick. Let's do um, 261. Let's just try that. Okay, now that is an odd number, so I know 2 can't go into it, and it doesn't end in 0 or 5, so 5 can't. But if you remember 3's, three, 3 goes into anything that adds up to not to um, something divisible by 3. And these 3 numbers add up to 9, so I know 3 can go into it. So if I write 3 on the outside, then um, 3 goes into 26 8 times, that's 24, which means there's 2 left over. So I put a 2 on the outside, 3 goes into 21 7 times. And again, if you're not sure if it's prime, you can use your factors list to see if it's prime. Or you can think, okay, well, let me try to divide by 3 again. 8 plus 7 is 15, so since 3 goes into 15, 3 will go into 87. So I can divide it by 3 again. 3 goes into 8 2 times. And then there are 2 left over, which is, I would put in front of the 7, so 3 goes into 27 9 times. And again, if you're not sure about 29, look at your factors list. And if you did that, you would see that 29 is prime. So the prime factorization of 261 is 3 times 3 times 29. And that would be it. That is all the examples I'm going to do. If you have any questions, just please let me know. Just remember that whatever you put on the outside of these division boxes has to be a prime number. And then you're done when you have a prime number on the top. That's it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.